Welcome once again to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. And to, for this video, we're going to talk about the um, bones of the pelvic girdle. Um, these two bones are the bones of the pelvic girdle. They're the right and left os cocci. And to make up the entire pelvis, these two bones connect with this bone. You recognize it? It's the sacrum. Sacrum connects to the two hip bones like this and makes up the entire pelvis. I'm going to remove the sacrum. Oh, the joint. This joint between the sacrum and the ilium of the, of the hip bone is the sacroiliac joint, the sacrum to iliac portion of the oscoxi sacroiliac joint. So this part on the hip bone is the sacroiliac joint. I'm going to remove this um, left os cocci and we'll use this right one for the major features of the hip bone. Those major features for the hip bone include the sacroiliac joint, which I did already, the iliac crest, which is this entire region here, that's the iliac crest. The anterior superior iliac spine, this is the pelvic bone, that makes this the front. This would then be the front of the ilium, so this is the anterior superior iliac spine. The little spine below that is the anterior inferior iliac spine. The ischium is down here. It's the part of your hip bones that you sit on, sometimes called the butt bone. That's the ischium. And the ischial tuberosity is this roughed up portion on the surface of the ischium. The ischial spine is this area back here. The pubic bone is up here. The pubic symphysis is the joint between the two pubic bones. So that connection right there is the pubic symphysis. I may ask it simply on one of these. I'd put the sticker there and I'd say name the joint. You'd say pubic symphysis. Or I might ask it on one of the larger articulated skeletons where the actual joint can be seen. Other features, acetabulum is the socket in which the femur fits. So that's acetabulum. Obturator foramen is this large foramen here. And greater sciatic notch is back here. This is the greater sciatic notch. And in case you care, there's the lesser sciatic notch. It's usually not on my objectives, but that's the lesser sciatic notch. In case you were wondering why we call this the greater sciatic notch. And that concludes all of the objectives that I require for knowing the pelvic girdle. This is a real human right hip bone, or os cocci. The three major bones that make up the, the hip, ilium, ischium, pubic. And to help you recognize the orientation, here's the other hip bone and that's how they fit together. So again, pubic bone, ischium, ilium. For the features of the ilium, the sacroiliac joint is here. The iliac crest is here. The anterior superior iliac spine here, or if I leave it flipped over, anterior, in, anterior superior iliac spine, anterior inferior iliac spine, anterior inferior iliac spine. 
for the ischium, ischial tuberosity, you can see that roughed area here in the bottom of the ischium. It's also the part that you sit on. That's ischial tuberosity. And the ischial spine is here. For the pubic bone up here in front, the symphysis pubis is the joint between the two pubic bones. If I ask it where you have only one hip bone, I'll put the sticker here and I'll say name the joint. Or I might ask it on one of our um, articulated skeletons, in which case you'd see something like this. And the connection between these two bones is the pubic symphysis or symphysis pubis. And that concludes the features for the pelvic girdle. As always, any questions, comments, email, call, or leave a comment on the video. Thank you very much for watching.